All right, now we're going to model our part. So notice that in the feature design uh, tree that our part is, now has a name. And we're going to model what kind of looks like a cylinder. So you would think that we would need a circle to create a solid from. And to do that, we need to draw on a plane. So we're gonna draw on the top plane. There's a couple different ways you can do this, and I'm gonna show you. So what we can do is first we can say we're gonna sketch. So we can click on that, and then the program's gonna ask you, okay, what plane do you wanna sketch on? Okay, I'm gonna sketch on the top plane, and then it will do it, right? All right, so I'm gonna escape out of that. So that's one way. So I'm gonna exit the uh, sketch. Another way you can do it is say, well, I know I'm gonna sketch on the top plane, so come over to the feature uh, tree and say, okay, click left, and I'm gonna sketch on it. So that's another way you can do it. All right, so that's a couple different ways, depending on how you want to do it, what's more comfortable for you. All right, so now we're sketching on the top plane. Well, what are we gonna sketch? We're gonna sketch a circle. So I'm gonna come up here, we're in the sketch tab. I'm gonna sketch a circle. And I always want to constrain my sketch, right? So the sketch doesn't move around, so I'll, I'll show you that. So if I sketch my circle out here, I can take this circle and I can move it. Like I can take this center point and I can move it. I, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be able to move my sketch, right? So I'm gonna delete it. I wanna take this circle and I wanna constrain it to something. So I'm gonna constrain it to the origin. All right now, if I want to move this circle, I can't, it's fixed, right? And you see this little green, green square? That tells me it's fixed. That's called a relationship, right? A sketch relationship. That's telling me it's fixed to the origin. And I like that, right? I like the sketches to be fixed and not be able to be moved. Well, you'll also notice that I can take this circle and I can drag it around. I can change the size. Well, I don't like that either, right? I want this, the size to be fixed. So I'm gonna dimension it. I'm gonna go up to the smart dimension, click on it, click on the circle, place the dimension by clicking and give it a size. I'm going to go two. I want that to be two inches. Now what happened? This circle changed from blue to black. Blue means it's not constrained enough. Black means it's totally constrained. So whenever you do a sketch, the sketch should be totally black when you're done. All right? That means it's completely constrained. And that's good. All right, so I'll get out of the dimension command. Now, if I click on the circle, I can't do anything with it. I can't move it. That's good. All right, so now we have a circle. Now we wanna make this circle solid, All right? So we're gonna go to the feature and we're going to extrude it. Extrude just means to, you know, make it thicker. So you can see that we have an arrow. I can take this arrow and I can move it up and make it thicker, I can make it thinner, but I want to give it a specific um, width, right? So I'm going to make this one inch. So over here in the window, I can tell it I want to make this one inch. All right, and now it is solid. It is a solid cylinder. Now I'm going to hit the F key on my keyboard. And what that does is it fits whatever I'm working on into the screen. So the F key is, is very nice. All right, now I'm gonna put a cylinder on top of this cylinder. So I don't really wanna sketch on one of these planes, right? I wanna sketch on top of the cylinder. So how do I do that? Well, I select the top of the cylinder, I left click, and then it gives me an option to sketch. All right, so I'm gonna sketch. Well, it's still in the isometric view. That means I'm looking at the part at an angle, right? 
I can I can sketch that way if I like, but if I want to look straight on to this part, I'm going to hit the control 8 key. So control 8 and it gives me a flat view. If I don't like the flat view, I go control 7 and it gets me back to the isometric. Control 8 flat, control 7 isometric. All right, so I'm going to go back to control 8 and draw another circle. I want it to be right in the center, so I'm going to constrain it to the origin again. Draw my circle, dimension it, and I'm going to make this one one inch. There we go. So it's all black, so we're good. And I'm going to get out and extrude it. And notice that it's still flat. I don't like to look at it flat when I extrude something, so I'm going to go Control 7. Nope. Control 7, and there we go. And I'm going to extrude this to half inch. So 0.5. And there we go. So we have a cylinder on top of a cylinder. Now there's a lot of things that you can do with the extrude. So in the book, I go through the different things you can do. You can um, extrude in various ways. So it's really cool. I'm just showing you a very basic way to extrude. So please go to the book and look at all the very interesting ways you can extrude a sketch. All right. So now, what if you want to view your part in different ways, right? Not just using the Control-8, Control-7. Well, up at the top, we talked about it in the first video, there's different ways you can view your part, right? One of them is the view cube. So if I click on this part, this uh, command, view orientation, it gives me what's called the view cube. And I can view my part at any different angle. So if I choose this, you know, side, I can view, well, it's not very interesting with a cylinder, but uh, if I want to view the top, I can view the top. If I want to view the angle, I can view the angle. So I can view any different surface that I want. And I don't have to keep going up to the top. This command has a shortcut, and it's the space bar. So I can just hit the space bar, and it gives me the view cube. Hit the space bar. View cube, space bar, view cube. All right, so I'm going to hit control seven to get back to the standard isometric. So the view cube's kind of nice. And you can use the view cube to set a standard front view. Uh, I have an extra video on that if you're interested in, in watching that. All right, so now we're going to cut something into this cube. All right, and we're going to cut it on the right plane. So we're going to sketch something right in the middle of this cylinder and then cut it. So I'm going to go over to the right plane, left click, and sketch. All right, I'm going to use Control 8 so that I can be flat and see what I'm drawing. And I'm going to use a line to draw a simple shape. And I'm not going to worry about the size. I'm just going to worry that the lines are horizontal. And you can see that it kind of snaps. You see when I get that zero degrees, it kind of snaps to horizontal. And it snaps to vertical. So I'm going to draw a shape that's kind of like this. And you notice that when I get to the end, you get this little dashed line. All right, so I'm going to draw a shape kind of like this. And we're going to dimension it all. So it doesn't matter what your shape looks like because uh, we're going to dimension everything. All right, so I'm going to go to Smart Dimension. And I'm going to dimension this bottom line. So just click on that bottom line, make it one inch. And then I'm going to dimension this line to the origin and make it a half inch. And I'm going to dimension bottom of the part to the bottom of this 
make it 0.25. This line, make it 0.13. And then bottom of this to top of that, make it 0.5. And this 0.5. And look, it's all black. So we know we have completely dimensioned this sketch and we're good. All right, I'm going to exit. And now we're going to cut extrude or extrude cut. So instead of adding solid, we're going to take solid away. All right, I'm going to control seven so we can see. So notice we have the arrow again, right? And we're only going one way, but I want to cut through both ways. So instead of blind, which just gives me one direction, I'm going to do through all both. So it's going to go through all of the part in both directions. And there we go. All right, now I'm going to rotate the part. I'm going to rotate it differently than using Control 7 or the View Cube. I'm going to press the middle mouse button or the scroll button, and I'm going to move my mouse. So I'm pressing the scroll and moving my mouse. And you can see how you can rotate your part. So that's the cut. All right, so we learned a little bit about SolidWorks with a very simple part and a few commands. but. Uh, it got you used to the user interface. Now look over here before we leave this tutorial, um, how the feature design tree looks. So we extruded our first cylinder and see how it highlights on the part. We extruded our second cylinder and we cut. So those are the three things that we did and they show up in the tree. Now if we open those, we can see the sketch that we use to do that. Open that, we see the sketch. Open that, we see the sketch. Now, if we need to go back and edit that sketch, we can. So if I click on this sketch, I can edit the sketch. What if I want to change it? I can. What if I don't want this to be 0.5? I double click on that. What if I want it to be 0.6? I can do that. I just exit the sketch. It'll automatically update. That's the great thing about SolidWorks. All right, so I hope you learned a little bit and uh, you're excited to learn more.